your Discord server sucks. It has 9 million channels that most people aren't going to read through, and you have this boring role system. Level up your server already by using something called onboarding. It allows you to have this fancy little menu where you can pick roles and channels, and my goodness, it'll turn your cluttered garbage server into a server that people actually want to talk in. Now, since this onboarding feature is truly a pain in the rear end, I'm going to split it up into three categories. We have the beginner setup, we have the intermediate setup, and the advanced setup where it's just filled with pain and torture. But it's worth it in the end. We need to figure out how to set up this onboarding system and get questions like this. And we're going to do it for reaction roles. So you can get rid of your role bot like Carl bot or whatever the heck garbage you use. And to do that, we need to first go to our server settings. We need to scroll down and we need to enable community if you haven't already. We click on enable community and click get started. It's going to tell you a whole bunch of crap. Make sure both of these are checked. Click on next. It's going to tell you to pick your rules channel. So either create one for me or click on your rules channel. And with this community updates channel, it's just going to spam me with garbage, so just pick a moderator channel and click on next. And in terms of the settings, it'll say disable risky permissions for everyone. If it shows up with a whole bunch of stuff, don't worry about it. Just click I agree and understand and Discord will do all the rest for you. Now, once you do that, you should see on the left here we have onboarding. And this is going to be the menu where you are going to lose your sanity. If you haven't figured it out already, I've lost my sanity. So you want to click on onboarding and click check it out. And it's going to tell you to go through this safety setup. Click on next. Now we are in default channels. And so right now what we're going to do is we are going to leave it on basic mode. There is an advanced mode. I'll talk about it when I go through the advanced part of the tutorial, but generally speaking, what we want to do is we just want to replace our stupid little bot with this nice, pretty role selection menu. So to do that, we are going to enable every single channel. Yes, Discord is going to yell at us and say, this isn't good. This isn't pretty and perfect. I don't care. We're just trying to figure out how to use this damn feature. Now, when you get down to your staff channels, do not enable the whole category and do not click on unlock. Those channels are supposed to be private. Do not unlock them. But once you're done that and you've selected all your channels, we can click on next and we are in customization questions. And that's where we get to our pre-join questions. There's also post-join questions. That's an intermediate thing. Right now for our pre-join questions, what I want to do is in my anime server, we have an announcements channel where I notify people with anime suggestions. I'm like, hey, watch this and ball your eyeballs out. Or hey, watch this and ball your eyeballs out. And there's also notifications for new seasons that drop. So what I want to do is I want to make those selectable roles. So I'm going to go back to my server settings, go to onboarding, but we want to pick our first question. And generally speaking, make your questions as short and clear as possible. So in this case, I put, what do you want to be notified about? And for my answer, I'm going to say upcoming anime seasons. And for a description, you can put it in a description if you want, if people can't read and understand this basic comprehension English language word combination. And for our next step, we get to assign channels and or roles. We are picking a role menu where people press on a button, they get a role. So we're going to click on enter roles and we want to pick the notification new season role and of course this will vary depending on your server I'm just showing you how to set it up for if you had an anime server and I know my audience most of you are young fellows that probably do watch anime so uh rest in peace your love life because you're never going to get any and finally you can pick an emoji and to be honest emojis are just cool so just pick something that's relevant then click on save and that is one question out of the however many you're going to have to do depending on your server so I just repeated the same thing and we now have two options now looking down a little bit, we have two checkboxes that we can pick. We can allow multiple answers, which of course makes sense in our notifications question. You want to make sure that they can pick multiple options. But if you're on a Discord server where you have something like color roles, having two color roles doesn't make sense. So you would disable that checkbox. Then we have this required checkbox, and it basically means that people are forced to answer this question. For notifications, you do not want this enabled, but you probably want to see how your specific server looks. And all you want to do is just scroll up and click on preview. And when you do that, you see your little questionnaire. What do you want to be notified about? If I zoom out just a tad, if I click on upcoming anime seasons, at the bottom right, it'll say you'll receive the notify new season rule, and the same thing for anime suggestions, and I can click on finish. And once I'm done fit farting around, I can click on back to onboarding settings, and now we're back to our little screen here. Now, there's two things I want to point out. The first thing is try to have less than six answers, because once you start filling up these answers, it gets really complex. And one final thing to note is that once you add 13 or more questions, questions, it turns into a drop down menu. So click on OK. And when I go to the preview, you will see this drop down menu. And what the drop down menu does is that it removes a lot of those details and all that other stuff. It doesn't look as nice in my opinion. God, so much scrolling for no reason at all. Now, don't get too excited and finish early because that's how your wife will leave you. What you actually need to do is you need to go back to your onboarding settings, press the next button for some reason and enable onboarding. And once you do that, you should see this little menu here. And when you go back to your Discord server, you should see this new channels 
and roles button. If you click on it, it shows up with your new cute little questions. And for anyone that joins your Discord server, they will get that little pop-up menu with all the questions. But I'm not done yet because things get worse, to be honest. If you go to a specific server, you might see they have something called Server Guide. And if I go to my Discord server and if I go to my server settings and click on Onboarding, Server Guide is a part of onboarding, so I do need to cover it. But the Server Guide is basically two things. One, a step-by-step -step guide teaching people how to act on your Discord server, and the second thing is a little resources channel, which you can tell I absolutely love it. So this little get started to-do list, so it tells me to check out the new videos. So if I click on this channel, I have no free will. And next, I need to say hi, and if I click on this channel, then uh, I finish the next step, and finally, I need to send in a video idea. But the server guide starts off with a cute little welcome message. You can fill that out yourself, it is very easy to do, and you just want to use this square bracket at username square bracket to mention the member. But once you do that and you scroll down, you now have a to-do list. In my default, it does tell people to read the rules. But if I click add a task, we can make it so that someone has to visit the channel or they have to send a message in the channel. Introduce yourself. Try to be very friendly and tell them that they should be doing it in the general channel or whatever channel you want. You can pick a little emoji and I think a little wave would be super cute. And yes, you can do custom emojis, but this task will be complete when someone sends a message. So you can force them to send a message because once again, there is no free will on Discord, or you can be a professional gamer and just make the task complete when someone visits the channel. In this case, I hate every single one of my Discord members, so I'm going to force them to say something in a channel. The next part of the server guide is resource pages. What you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to add maybe your rules channel or maybe some sort of FAQ channel. And when you do do that, so I'm going to add a rules channel, call this rules. If I click on save and I go back to my server guide here, if I click on my rules, you can see that it starts at the top of the channel, which once again is good for rules, and it looks very minimal. So that's the point of resource pages. But this is very limited. I have an FAQ and info channel that is actually a form channel. And in my onboarding thing, I cannot set it as a resource page because with resource pages, it needs to be a channel that is read only for everyone. But it's time for us to get into the intermediate setup. And in the intermediate setup, we are going to tackle the biggest problem about my Discord server here. It's the fact that there's way too many channels. There's just so much going on that if someone joins your server, they're going to be intimidated with literally so many channels that they just realize, I need to go outside. So going back into our onboarding, it's a little bit of a different menu since it's enabled. We need to go to our default channels. And what we're going to do is we are going to turn our hobby channels into channels that you can opt in. Because right now, everyone can see every single channel. Maybe people aren't interested in fitness or art or gaming. So what you want to do is you want to go to your default channels and you want to disable those categories. Some people don't really have fitness as a hobby. Some people don't have art as a hobby. And some people just simply aren't gamers. So disabling all those default channels, I'm going to click on save. And here's the issue now. Discord will give you a nice warning and it'll basically tell you that 13 channels are missing from questions and default channels. This means that people are going to have a hard time finding these channels. So what do you do? Well, you make more questions. The more questions you have when someone joins your server, the more annoying and irritating it's going to be. So in this case, I'm going to set this as a post join question. It's just going to say, what type of off topic channels do you want? I'm going to add an answer and I'm going to put in gaming channels. And I don't really need to enter in a description, but instead of giving someone a role, I'm going to enter a channel and I'm going to look for the gaming category. You don't need to select all the gaming channels. You can actually just click on the category and it'll pick all the channels for you. And I'm going to add a relevant emoji, click on save. I'm going to do that for the rest of the off topic channels. And of course, in this case, we're going to allow multiple answers and click on save. And if we scroll up and click on preview, we get to see how our server looks when someone joins. Of course, we're going to skip past our normal questions. And as you can see on the left here we have general fun fighting anime but there's none of those fitness gaming or art categories and that's because we need to click on channels and roles and your members would have to pick those off topic channels so if i click on gaming channels you will see the gaming category unlocks if i click on the fitness button the fitness category unlocks and for art it'll unlock the art category and of course i can select all of these if i want but one very important thing if you're a user is that you can right click this and click show all channels and it will show 
you every single one of those channels that have been hidden by onboarding questions. But we can really take this one step further and really level up our Discord server. Because remember, your server is basically a never-ending list of channels that scares people away. So we're going to make this server super professional by making it seem really small. But as people get more and more familiar and comfortable with your Discord server, they'll start to branch out and explore different categories that your server has to offer. So we want to go back to onboarding and we want to edit our default channels. And once again, this is where you're going to want to smash your head against a wall because Discord's going to give you a whole bunch of rules you have to abide by. So what I did is I turned off all my default channels. That means if someone joins my Discord server right now, they'll see nothing. And what you need to figure out is what are are the most basic channels that every member needs. Well, every member needs to see the rules channel, they need to see the announcements channel, and they need to see the general channel. Okay, I'm all good to go. Click on save. Oh god. This is really where the pain starts because Discord has a completely arbitrary minimum requirements. You need to at least have seven channels, and five of those channels need to be where people can send messages and read messages. But in this case, I just made up some random channels, and kaboom, I now hit the minimum requirement. So now, if someone joins my Discord server, these are the only channels that they can see by default. From there, they can learn from other users that, hey, there's a lot more to this Discord server. There are channels you haven't even seen yet. And to make that a little bit more clear, I'm going to click on save, and we're going to go back to our questions, and we need to assign those channels that we had, the categories of anime, into actual questions. And I'm going to ask the question, what genre of anime do you like? And this should be pretty second nature at this point, but we want to add an answer of fighting anime. We want to describe it shows the fighting anime section of the server. We're going to pick the category channel, pick an emoji, click on save. So I added in each one of these sections, and if I click on save, and I go to channels and roles and just skip over the initial thing, as we can see, we have a very basic Discord server with not a lot. But if someone likes the fighting anime genre, when they click on that, they unlock that category of the Discord server. Wow, that wasn't very advanced. It's not very advanced because we're not done yet. Back in the beginning steps, we made a new season ping, you know, upcoming anime seasons anime suggestions ping but that pings for all types of animes so that's why we need to make roles specifically for different anime genres now i made a role for every single genre of anime and the, the role names are awful maybe not the best example from me but this is where you use your brain and your creativity to uh think of better role names and once we save we want to go back to onboarding and we want to make it where if you pick a genre of anime that you like you will get notifications about that specific genre of anime so I'm going to go click on fighting anime and instead of just adding channels, I'm going to also add roles because you can do both at the same time and I'm going to add the, the notifications for the new seasons of fighting anime and the ping for suggestions. And I'm going to click on save and I'm going to repeat it for the rest of the categories. So now in my little survey thing, if I click on fighting anime, I get the channels and I get the roles. So that means if someone makes an announcement, I will get pinged for it. So it seems like everything's all good in the hood. We're all done, right? <laughs> Not exactly. There's one final thing. Advanced mode. It is a complete waste of your time with advanced mode. Basically, I would turn on advanced mode if you can't get past this seven channel and five channel limit. And if it doesn't work, then just leave it on advanced mode and pretend you don't know what's going on because you can just ignore it. Alrighty, that's how you set up onboarding to level up your server. You could like, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want. I'm not your dad, but unlike your dad, I will still give you bye bye kisses. Mwah.